What's up, peeps? So, uh, tell us what you've seen of a rookie quarterback. And rookie quarterbacks are unique in and of themselves, right? But, right. Uh, not a lot of game tape on this guy except from last week. So, what do you make of him? Well, the thing is, he got a lot of moxie because he went right, in the, right into the game and didn't miss a beat, and they didn't really change the offense with him in there, so that says a lot. Does it help you to have 37 passes on tape as opposed to, you know, this injury happens at the end of the game and you have nothing? Can you? Is there an appreciable difference in how you can scout him with, it, with that much at least? Well, what we saw is that they didn't change. You know, it would be different if we went in there and said they totally switched the offense. They kept doing what they do. They didn't really change anything. That's the thing. They stayed with the same game plan, and from what we saw, they got a lot of confidence in him. He just runs their offense. I know your focus is on, on the offense that you'll face, but what, what have you seen? What do you like about the defense that is best in the NFL in yards? They play extremely hard. That's the thing. You watch them. We'd have caught them in the exchange several weeks. You know, you just watch those guys. They play extremely hard, and they're well disciplined. You know, when you sit there and say quarters covers, everybody's exactly where they're supposed to be, this and that. And then, you know, they have the ability to constantly get there with four. So, you know, you always got the extra guy and the defender, and they got an elite rusher. You know, you leave him one-on-one -on -one too many times, it becomes a problem. So what, what is it about Shanahan's offense that – Looks like he can plug in Brock, or he can plug in Jimmy, or he, you know that that they still get the ball to a lot of just a lot of fast guys, right? I mean, right. Down the air long, like what, right. Is it a plug and play type of? Well, the thing that he does a great job over the years of getting the playmakers the ball. You know, you said, you know, this is a team that we play that really features twenty one personnel, which first of all in the NFL in today's NFL is an odyssey. So then, you know, but their 21 personnel look like 11 personnel. So, you know, it leaves you in some bad positions because now you're in base personnel against, you got some bad matchups. And then you have a Debo Samuel who could be a tailback. Then you have a McCaffrey who could be at the slot receiver. And then you also got Ayuk running fast out there. It just creates a lot of problems for you preparation wise. It looked like with Brock, most rookie quarterbacks, you can. And this is a small sample size. Right. You, you can blitz guys, and that's where you kind of see them maybe panic a little bit or make a bad read. He was pretty on it as far as when they pressured him, right? No doubt. And they didn't just pressure him. They went zero. They went all out to get him. They didn't just kind of a soft fire zone, no. They went all out to get him, and he just stood in there like – He'd been there before. He knew where to go with the ball, get his playmakers the ball. That's what you expect when I sit there and saw he was under duress. It wasn't like they just played some soft zone and say they went to get him with zero, he, and he got the ball to the right people. More than most teams, you guys have seen McCaffrey for so long. So right. you know his versatility from, from when you, you dealt with him twice a year. Right. Same with even Todd mentioned that Kamara is kind of along the same thing. Right. Is that a linebacker challenge? Is that is that where it falls on most squarely in terms of handling – limiting the, the duality and the versatility of their running backs? Well, the thing with that, with the linebackers, it's, it creates a hard matchup. You can't just say we're leaving a linebacker on this guy. All day. So you got to do different things. You know, you got to help the linebacker. You got to drop eight. You got to do a lot of different things because if they know they got a one-on-one -on -one matchup, they're going to feel like it's a favorable matchup. Casey, are you all hopeful you all will have a few more hands on deck this week? I mean, you had some guys playing every snap just out of necessity. Are, are you hopeful of having a, a few more hands on deck, especially on the back end? As we look at it going into this week, and I'm sure Todd will speak more about it, we'll take anybody we can get back. But, uh, you know, we play, they, the guys have played a lot of plays. Casey, we've seen uh, Logan Hall play a little bit less and less since Keem's been back. Is that just a function of, of having solid depth ahead of him, or is he – not able to do some of the same things you'd like him to do. Actually, the, it's just the way it's kind of played out in the games, and Akeem has really been doing a good job for us. And then the last couple of weeks going back to Cleveland, we've been having a lot of physical physical type games, and that's just the way it played out. But we were very happy with Logan. The last couple of weeks, he had a, a sack a week ago, and pressure going, he's really doing a great job. It's just the way a good problem to have for us, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. Thank you. You guys have a great day.